Well, give the Lord a big hand clap, please. He is worthy. <clears throat> he is worthy, and He is so strong in His presence here right now. Amen? God is good. The Lord spoke, yes, give Him praise again. Hallelujah. Wonderful God you are. Hallelujah. We're in changing times, church. And uh, the Lord spoke a word to me and wanted me to exhort the body of Christ for just 15, 20 minutes before Pastor Darrell comes and breaks the word and we get back into Daniel and so we can walk into discernment and understanding. Amen? Amen. But it, in Daniel chapter 11, I, ironically, go, go there as we uh, hear what the Spirit of God would say to us today. He uh, woke me a couple of days ago and uh, spoke this word deep into my heart and said, I want you to speak into the body of Christ. I want you to speak to this generation. I want you to speak to the church that has ears to hear. Amen? Amen. Now, Father, as we come to you in this word that you had dropped into my, you imparted into my spirit, man, with insight, understanding, and revelation, that it is a now word for the church in the now, the church in this day, not tomorrow, not yesteryear, but here and now, in the here and now, in the here and now, I lift up this church, Father, that they have ears to hear for now, eyes to see for now, a heart to discern and understand for now. For you didn't say worry about tomorrow, you said take no thought for tomorrow. Tomorrow has enough trouble of its own already stored up by hell. But our faith will be sufficient to overcome in the now. So, Father God, this is a now word for now faith, for this now generation, and let it have its full purpose in our hearts, minds, understanding, and wills. In Jesus' name I pray. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 Daniel chapter 11 Look at verse 32 with me. And it's talking about the Antichrist, which means it's talking about in the days we're living in and going into. Amen? Amen. And such as do wickedly against the covenant. Say against the covenant. Against the now, covenant. I know it's talking about the covenant with God's chosen people, Israel. But how many of you know this is the covenant? This is our covenant. This is the new covenant. Even if Israel doesn't know it, it's their covenant. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And such as do wickedly against the covenant, shall he corrupt by flatteries, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Why? And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. Listen to this word of, word of God through this man of God. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many, yet they shall fall by the sword and by flame, by captivity, by spoil many days. Now I want to speak to you by the, there it is, yes, by, 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 by the Spirit of God. Speak to you by the Spirit of God. That we are looking into days of the future where many will fall. For the, the Word of God said that in the last days there will be perilous times. It will be dangerous to even leave your house. And the Spirit of God wants you to understand, think not that the righteous are immune to trials and tribulations of, the, of this day we live in. We're not immune to it. But we are called to something by the Spirit of God to do exploits. And we're going to do great and mighty exploits. You've heard pastors say this for years. It's time for a generation to rise up in the anointing that's stronger than the evil of its day. Amen. That's the Spirit of God's voice to you now, church. It's time for you to rise up in the Spirit. Rise up in the Spirit and the anointing of the Spirit and do exploits in a now dangerous, perilous day. And overcome... And break through the evil of our future in Jesus' name. How many of you can receive that? Amen. Now I want you to turn over with me. Over here. Say, say that's us. That's us. We, we are called to know God. Now listen, you're not going to do exploits 
just hang out with God now and then. You're going to do exploits by knowing God. I know who I'm, ser- I'm serving. I know who I'm called by. I know who I'm empowered by. I know God. And in that knowing God, there's a revelation of Holy Ghost anointing that will cause this end time church to do great exploits to overcome the things that are thrown at this last day generation. Can I hear an amen? amen? We're not called to be victims, even though we're going to be in battles and some will fall. We're not called to be uh, statistics, even though we're right in the middle of a great falling away. Pastor Darrell is hearing the same thing in the spirit. The, the Lord's been speaking to both of us for many years now. We don't see a great global harvest, but we do see a, a harvest, a revival during a great falling away. And there's a shaking, there's a wicked one coming against the Word of God, coming against the principles and the precepts of God, so that you don't know your God and you're not able to rise up and overcome the evil anointing that's in this last hour. Can I hear an amen? amen. you got to know God. you got to know the covenant. you got to know your covenant promises. And in knowing God, knowing His Word, believing in God, believing His Word, walking in the anointing of that Word to perform the Word, you will rise up and you are called, saith the Lord. Called, saith the Lord. Rise up now, saith the Lord. Do mighty exploits in the middle of this end time battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now look, look, look over here with me very quickly to Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. And I want you to say amen when you get there. The Holy Ghost speaking through the Apostle Paul to the church of Galatia. And he says in Galatians 3, 5, He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit and worketh miracles among you. Listen to that. He, uh, he therefore that ministereth, supplies, brings to you the Spirit and works miracles among you. Does he do it by the law? Or does he do it by the hearing of faith? How does he do it? What's he saying here? We are called. Ministers of God are called. We are called. We are called. We are called to supply the Spirit to this end time church. And to perform and work and demonstrate miracles by the word of faith. No wonder there's such warfare against the covenant that brings faith. The covenant that brings faith. So that you won't have faith in what God has promised in His covenant and you will be unable to walk in the Spirit, supply the Spirit that brings miracles of deliverance, healing, salvation, and freedom to this crushed, beat down, oppressed, and prison generation. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What, what's that mean, Pastor? It means this. God's telling us the darker it gets, the more violent it gets, the more people are dying all around you, the more you're called to give the spirit of the miraculous realm to the people that are dying, to the people that are suffering, to the churches that are losing their hope because they've lost their faith in the covenant promises of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So what's number one? We've got to know God in this hour like never before. Number two, we got to walk in the Spirit like never before. We don't draw back because it's no longer politically correct. We're not called to draw back. He takes no pleasure in those that draw back. But we're called to go forward the darker it gets. Further the darker it gets. Knowing God. Knowing what thus saith the Lord, the covenant says. Walking in the Spirit. Supplying the kika masatare kata masotate. Supplying the Spirit to people oppressed, sick in their body, tormented in their minds, defeated in their hearts, without hope, and lost and undone when they need to be alive when Christ comes to get us. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to do miracles in this last hour. Though many may die, though many may fall, though many may, may bail out and stop serving God, we're going to walk in the Spirit Walk in the covenant. Walk in supply, 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 supply. Refreshing floods of living water flowing of the Spirit to the thirsty, dying world around us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? amen? 
How are we going to do it? We're going to do it by faith. How are we going to do it? But you don't sound convinced. How are you going to do it? Not, not by the arm of the flesh, not by finances, not by money, not by every your duck you've ever had lined up. We're going to do it by faith, and faith is what we need when we see nothing, have nothing, and, for, and see no future of anything coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter when the, if the money collapses. It doesn't mu- matter if the government takes over. It doesn't matter if this falls, that fails, and this falls. We've got faith in the word that's under attack and the Holy Ghost that's under attack. And if we walk in the covenant and know God and stay in the spirit and supply the spirit and stay in faith, we will overcome no matter what, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me, church. We will overcome when everybody's falling around us. If you know God, stick with his word. Stick with the Holy Ghost and stick with faith. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Kira makora stipriki kitea. For those that know me, walk with me and talk with me and fellowship with me. Those that know me, love me. Those that know me, care not what the world says. For they do not love the world or the things that are in the world, but they love me. And the love of me causes them to love the word. And I said, I will hasten to perform my word. So as you love me, you'll speak like me, talk like me, walk like me. And I will do the miraculous through you for the hurting people around you, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Are you there? Acts chapter 3. And I'd like for you to... Uh, Go to verse, well, where you want to start, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Let's look at verse 17. And now, brethren, I know that through ignorance you did it as did all your rulers. Verse 18. But those things which God before had shown by the mouth of his holy prophets, that Christ should suffer, did he? That he hath so fulfilled. Did he fulfill it? Repent ye therefore, be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus, which before was preached unto you, whom the heavens must receive, now watch, until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Now what did he just say? He just said Jesus was prophesied to come and save the world from their sins. He did that. He suffered many things on the cross, was buried, resurrected three days later. He did that. For what? The sins of the world. So that after he arose, times of refreshing could come from the presence of God. Amen. Is he risen? Then we have a right to walk in refreshing from the presence of the Lord. Not this constant demonic beat down, always tired oppression, but times of refreshing from knowing my God and the presence of the Lord. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. Now watch, right after the refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, he'll send Jesus again, which before was preached unto you, whom the heavens have received until the times of the restitution of all things which were spoken by all the holy prophets of God. So we are right between the time when God's calling us to be refreshed in the middle of turmoil and be invited of God to walk in His Spirit, do great exploits, signs and wonders and miracles by the Spirit of faith and bring restoration to all things 
to his people in his church and his body in Jesus' name. Amen. So as they're losing out, we're gaining kingdom. As they're being stolen from, we're being enriched by. As they're being afflicted by, we're being empowered by. In the presence of the God we know, in the presence of the Spirit we walk in, in the power of faith we walk in, it's time to bring the restoration promises of the kingdom of God into every son and daughter of God in the darkest hour, saith the Spirit of grace. Can I hear it? Amen. Amen. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? If you believe it, you'll receive it. If you receive it, you'll live it. If you live it, you'll walk in it. Amen. Amen. Thus saith the Lord. Now give Him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Father, by Your instructions, I have spoken Your Word, and I release to those that have ears to hear. I release to those that have eyes to see. I release to those that have a heart to receive. The empowering, resurrecting, restoring, anointed Holy Spirit through faith into their lives, into their ministries. Rise up and restore. Rise up and heal. Rise up and be victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you.